Okay, this is going to be a two-part. I don't know what y'all heard last. There's no way to check it because on my camera that button messed up long ago. I used to could go back and watch the videos, but on my camera. But I have to wait to get them on my laptop to do that. And I don't know if Gracie's mashed some button, but my camera only goes, it won't do the 20-minute videos now. I don't know how long because I don't catch it to see how long I'd went. And it just cuts off on me and says something other about it. Something low, video, something other, I don't know. So I have to restart it again. So here we are. I'm sorry. It's a two-part. But anyway, I forgot what I was saying. So I've also read my Bible this morning, and I've started cleaning up. So I'm in the kitchen. That is my utility room in there. And this is, you know... Stove. Albert ain't put that cooker away. It's the deep fryer. We did the hens in for New Year's. And um, that goes back into the living room. And then there's that. Now I'm working on dishes. So there's the. I need to kind of switch my thing over since I'm showing y'all around now. So here is my sink. I got dishes soaking to wash. Those are done. These are done. I've got those few bowls, and then there's those pots and pans, and everything is straightened up. And today, earlier, Gracie helped me. I have this old recipe that Becca, my sister, the Becca JB, way back in the days when we were both a lot younger, she used to do Amish bread, and she had made some. It's a starter you have to make, and then at the end of it, it goes 10 days. And um, at the end of it, you add a whole bunch and you do four bags. You keep one and give three away. And she used to give me one, or it did at one point in time, and the recipe. So I would have it and know what to do then with the starter. And I used to make the Amish bread, and my girls loved it. And Katie today, at, no, yesterday, she asked me, if I would make some more Amish bread. She ain't had none in a long time and she wanted to have some. So me and Gracie put one together. Now, Becca, don't say nothing. I did my best. When Katie comes in, when Albert comes in, it ain't supposed to have air in it like this. I know that is too much air. But I have done my best. And I can't get no more air out of it than that, you know? Like this, it don't look so bad. I guess, to me anyway, but it says to when it air gets in the bag to, you know, get it out, let it out. So I'm going to have to let them do that. I did the best I could with it, but that's the starter. We started, and here's my, I got my list ready to check off each day. So what you do on the first day, you make your stuff up, which is a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, and a cup of milk. You put it in a bag like this, and you just squeeze it to mix it up. Get all the air out of it. Leave it laying on your counter. Okay? The second day, you just squeeze it. Leave it laying there. Third day, squeeze. Leave it laying there. Fourth day, squeeze. Leave it laying there. Fifth day, squeeze. Leave it laying there. The sixth day, you add another cup of flour, sugar, and milk into the bag. Squeeze, leave it laying there. Seventh day, squeeze, leave it laying there. Eighth day, squeeze, leave it laying there. Ninth day, squeeze, leave it laying there. Tenth day, you put all of that in a wooden bowl, and you use wooden spoons only. And uh, you, once you add this in there, then you add, you because you're combining it all in the bowl, you add another cup of flour, cup of sugar, and cup of milk. Mix it all up real good in the bowl. Then you get four more bags. And uh, they're gallon bags. Ziploc. And you put one cup to a bag. So then you'll have four bags like this. But what's left over? No, one of them. Yeah. You'll have some left over to bake that day in your bowl. But then you'll have four bags. So you put one bag up in your freezer to keep to have for later another starter to make some more later and the other three you give away along with the recipe to family and friends whoever you want to give it to and you bake what was in the bowl put it in the oven and bake it and you got some Amish bread 
and it is delish. So, I, me and, you know, Gracie helped me put it together. She was sitting right here, and she did, she played in the flyer and got all a mess, but she enjoyed it. I enjoyed having her help me. And, uh, so, we started our starter. Is it supposed to still have some dry powdery stuff in there like that? Becca, I don't know if you was seeing that. I don't know if I had my camera aimed right or not. I wished I was able to get the air out of it more. But I ain't, I've never been able, I always had trouble getting the air. What does that do, Becca? When it, you have the, if the air gets into it, does that mess it up? Does that ruin it and make it like where it won't taste good or it won't be good? If you eat it, you'll get sick. What does that do if air gets into it? What's, what does that, please explain that to me. I'd like to know. Thanks in the comments below. I'm sure everybody else would like to know too. Of course, everybody else may be smarter than me and already know, even though they, didn't know how to make the Amish bread and never heard of it or something other just from what I've told them today. They probably smart and know it. No, I don't. So anyway, this is the kitchen where I've cleaned up. Now, table, it's fairly cleaned off. Okay. And that's my craft area, just in my water and where I was at. The baby's in there asleep. And this is my, my craft shelves. I don't know if my newest uh, subbies have seen my place and what it looks like, but I have my, I don't have a craft room, my craft stuff set up in my living room, so there's my stuff hanging on the wall right there, and, um, it's like that, and the couch is catacorned, and, you know, my tray and rack and stuff is behind it, that's Butchie's bed, and then there's the living room in down there in my front door, and, yes, Gracie's here, this is her toys, okay, and uh, her toys stays right here. That's her sensory board I made her. She plays with this jug with those clothes pins in it. Her bowling set she got for Christmas. Her spinner. And then, she, yes, she's got tissue paper strips of it she plays with. That's her boots. All of her toys goes in this bag right here. All of these toys. And when she comes and plays... She dumps the bag upside down and pours it all out and plays with it. And I just leave them here in the floor. Now the papers, they were over there on top of the printer. She took them down, started playing with them. That right there is Elizabeth's sewing box, Auntie. She's Auntie to Kate, Gracie. And that's her bedroom right there. She's the one on the cruise. Uh, Gracie politely marched herself in there and picked her thing up and come in here and sit it down and she sits on it or climbs and stands on it and watches cartoons so this is our that's her cup of water the control that's her leftover lunch there's butchie laying there when it's cold we push the towel up under the door so it's just there it's not cold today i actually cut the air conditioner on but here's gracie's diaper bag and uh She's got her blankie and her monkey and her spirit horse that Granny got her for Christmas. It's a little stuffed horse. Um, in there in the bed with her. And there's my Butchie. Hey, Butchie. Go say hey to everybody. Him's not been feeling good lately, y'all. We're not sure what's wrong, and we're not sure. Uh, we're gonna have him much longer by what happened the other night. During the night. It's a cloudy, rainy day out today. But during the night the other night, not last night, but the night before, he, uh, he woke us up, and he was struggling. He had kind of fell down in the floor, and he couldn't get up, and he was struggling, and he was breathing awfully heavy. He sounded awful. He sounded like he could not get his breath at all. And so finally, he just flopped down and laid down and quit struggling. We thought he had died, to be honest. He laid so still. Well, actually, at first, he was still breathing real bad. But then finally, he quit breathing. I mean, like that, the hard, struggling breathing. And he was real still and quiet, and we thought he'd died. But Albert patted him, and he kind of moved his legs a little bit. And so we knew he was still alive, but he just laid so still and laid there for a little bit. And then finally, he got up and moved back to his bed and laid down. Bless his heart, it scared us to death. We don't know what's wrong or why he's like that. 
or why he did that. And, um, you know, of course, we don't have the money to take him to a vet and get him checked out. So, we don't know if he's going to be here much longer or not. I don't know if he had a heart attack and it done him that way. I don't know. I just don't know. Did I show y'all that I re arranged my cabinets? I think I did. I turned my baskets sideways instead of, because with them sitting in here, you have to actually take the basket out to reach in and get whatever's inside. So, sitting sideways, we'll see what's sitting in there and pull it out. You know, except for this one. This is baking stuff, and this is a little one, and that's some bread stuff and noodles. The crackers are right there. This is for my cereal. Put them out, so now i got to get cereal. And that's like your cooking stuff. The tea in that container. And that's other seasonings and cooking stuff. That's the meal. The flyer goes up there. I got it sitting out on the counter for doing this right here. Those is stuff up there Albert uses. Canned stuff. I can't even reach up there. This is our bread and stuff. And then canned stuff here. Snacks, chips. Uh, and then this is breakfast stuff. And that's my waters. There's some Kool-Aid and tea behind here. That's medicines. You're not even seeing it good, are you? That's just an empty pot there, and then our potatoes and onions down there. And that's the new arranged pantry. Here is my new magnets that came from Australia. Um, I have two people that's in Australia. I know Joanne Lee is one of them. Joanne, I'm so sorry, honey, but I can't remember if it was you that gave them to me or somebody else. It's just my forgetful mind like that. You know, yeah, I don't mean nothing by it. I'm so sorry. I just forget things. And then there's my baby and her picture we fixed up on a magnet. And then that's her flower garden we made together. And I just quit using that and she comes up here and draws on it when I pick her up. She'll ask me and I'll pick her up. And let her draw on it. So anyway, this is our little short vlog, which ended up being a long vlog. Why does it always do that? I should never say short, should I? Because I can't keep my mouth shut once I get started. <laughs> so, cloudy rainy day outside. Cloudy rainy day outside. Alright guys. Let me get turned around here. Turn the screen around where I can see y'all. That's all I have for you today. It's two parts. This one's 12. I don't know how long the other one was. So anyway, all right, I'll try to do more of these little short videos like this, vlogs, um, or long vlogs, whatever you want to call it, um, showing you stuff around in the house and telling you about the day, what we've done. Um, if it don't get boring, that, that'll get boring because a lot of times, most of the time, it's the same thing over and over, every day, every day, and you ain't going to want me to every day put up a video talking and saying that we done the same thing over and over and over, you know? That'll get boring, but I'll see what I can do. Okay, her, ooh, her head, oops, she may be waking up. Her head looks like it's right on the edge, about to hang off a little bit. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go. Hope y'all enjoyed this little vlog, and I'm out of here until next time I'm done, I'm going to do loo.